Here we have a boat that's a little bit different. It's the Dela 30 One Design, which is designed as a two-handed offshore racer. So it's, it's intended to go like the clappers, by all accounts it does. It weighs next to nothing, it's got an extremely deep keel, carbon rig, twin rudders, basically the go fast works. So let's have a look at the boat starting from the stern. Pretty beamy, delta shape. Life raft stowage, the hatch is missing at the moment, but that'll be fitted. Backstays, uh, it's a square top main, so the, these aren't running backstays exactly. They're not needed to support the rig there, they're, they're tuning tools. Pronounced chine. And here's Rich, co-skipper, getting everything set up on the foredeck. Pontoon's getting a bit wobbly here, so let's just go carefully. Modern style of reverse stem. There's a bowsprit, a fixed bowsprit, that can be removed if you're in cruising mode, because this boat is designed, again, not only to be extremely quick for two-handed sailing, but to be something that you can actually cruise and spend a civilised few nights aboard if you want to. So, carbon rig, rod rigging, big, yeah, long, long spreaders, outboard rigging, big sweep back. Everything led aft, as you would expect. And just having a look in the cockpit here, as we step aboard, full width, main sheet traveller. Tiller with extendable extension, absolutely essential. Main sheet, coarse and fine tune, backstays here too. And uh, here's the traveller, yeah, main sheet, coarse and main sheet, fine. So everything led to the helm station. And then Lumar hardware, jib sheet goes through, or in haulers and out haulers, so you can tweak the sheeting angle, kicker split both sides, and essentially all the string within easy reach as it needs to be. There is and has been for some time a growing interest in the short-handed offshore racing scene and this is really where this boat fits in and although it's only designed to be sailed two up it does have water ballast there's a about 440 pounds uh, 200 odd kilos each side which is equivalent to having another three fully grown blokes on the rail and as any racing sailor knows that does make an enormous difference. small kite the only one that's on the boat at the moment and we've got about 12 13 knots of true breeze the big kite is half as big again as this one but we might be struggling to carry a lot more at this angle in this speed and we've hotted up the angle a bit and the boat's now clocking along at what have we got on the log, Ian? 8.8, .8. okay. So, good 8.8. .8. So this is 
semi semi planing. I mean, we're well over Dry. displacement speed. Cold. And the apparent wind is just fractionally forward of 90. Just in case anybody only sails a heavy displacement boat doesn't believe it, there we go. Uh, we just rounded it up a little bit, lost some drive, dropped down to below eight. That's heading down below to see what this boat is like below decks. It's surprisingly plush and nicely finished for an offshore one design race boat, six feet plus of headroom and mesh lining, hull lining that can be removed easily. And here's the heads on the port side, which leads aft to one of the quarter berths. There's one each side in the stern, either side of the central utility area. The opening port to the cockpit has been added on this boat and then moving back into the saloon. No headlining so the fastenings for all the deck hardware are very easy to get at and they have dome heads on them to save your scalp. And the compression post there, of course, and the galley. The companion may steps are covered in the same rubberized, non skid finish as seen on parts of the deck. And to get at the engine, just lift out the molded casing and there it is, 10 horsepower, 2 cylinder, lightweight, no any diesel, no messing around with electric motors and loads of batteries on this boat, just straightforward internal combustion and very easy just to get out to 